Okay, this is take two because I filmed this yesterday and it was too long to be put up on YouTube. So they booted me off. So I am refilming. This is Shelby. And she is kennel mates with Boris and Ollie, who's down there trotting around, trotting around. So let me see if I can get these guys to play or anything. Right now they're exploring. Boris! Boris! Shelby, what's that? Go get it. Now there is Ollie. Well, I guess they didn't like that toy. You are a pretty girl. Yes, you are, Shelby. And here's Boris. Now, Boris is usually the one who loves toys. He could be in a mood to prove me wrong. Boris! There. There you go, big boy. I'm not giving it up. Get away from me, Shelby. <laughs> it's mine, 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 mine. That, that they're hiding behind is my dog's doghouse. The fosters are just borrowing the yard at the moment to, to play, do this video for you. Boris, where are you going? Come on, give it back. What do you got? Give that to me. Come here. Let me see. Good boy. No, 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 no. Here's Ollie wanting to know what's going on. Ollie, what are you missing out on? Uh -huh. Oh, Shelby, you learned that from Trixie, didn't you? Watch out, let me get the toy. Oh, you're getting so brave. What do you got? Ready? Go get it. Boris is like, I got this one, but I want that one too. It's mine. You can't have it. Good boy, Ollie. Good boy. That was my favorite. I like pink. Pink is a, a man's color. <laughs> Boris, come here. What are you? Ollie, did you let him have that? Did you? You are a gentleman. Come on, buddy. Let's throw the hot dog. Here comes Boris. What are you doing, Mom? I know you're going to go get another one. Ready? Go get it. Ollie, you missed it. Here, Boris. What you got, Shelby? You silly girl. Yes, you're silly girl. Wait, she's having too much fun with it. I better get it back. Yeah, I better. I better get it back. Ready? Go get that one. Well, Boris just doesn't know which one to play with. Good boy. Yeah, you are. Good, good boy. Shelby, what do you got? Now I'm supposed to be doing a video for of all these, th all three of these dogs. So I am. Um, Doing it all at the same time to save some time. Boris! What do you got there? Oh, that one looks better. Can't take that one. They're both mine. Ollie, what's the matter? You're not in the mood to play today? Ollie loves to sit and hug, hug and cuddle. He's a very affectionate dog. Um, Boris here likes attention as well, but he's more of an independent dog. He likes to play. He loves the water, which is kind of problematic in the summertime because you have to constantly refill the water dish because he's always playing in it. Yes, aren't you, Boris? Where did all your water go? It says it's on the ground, Mom, where it's supposed to be. So if you're a water person, Boris would be a perfect dog for you because he loves the water. Where are you going, Shelby? Well, Ollie is being quite boring at the moment. 
Go get him, Molly. <laughs> These three were out at a foster home out on a farm before I got this place. And um, Boris and Ollie have grown up with me pretty much. Um, they are falling victim of the black dog syndrome. And they, um, Boris had two litter mates that were white dogs that looked like, I have to spin the other way otherwise I'm going to get dizzy, <laughs> um, that looked like cattle dog mixes. And um, those two got adopted out right away. And then he had another brother that was, looked just like him. And he got adopted out a little while ago. And so he was lonely. And Otis, or Odie, Ollie here, had two brothers named Otis and Odie. And when Boris was all by himself, I put him with the O's, the three O's. And um, so they took him right in, and now Boris has really taken up on their personality because he wasn't quite as people-oriented as, as he was back before he moved in with Otis and Odie and Ollie. And then he learned that he could really have a lot of fun with people through them. But Ollie here is the last of the litter. Otis is up in Massachusetts, and his family love, love, love him. Absolutely love him. Because they're so affectionate. They're mellow and affectionate. And big old mush balls. They love to be held. Odie is on his way to Maryland as of tomorrow. He's gotten himself a home. So all we need to do now is find a home for Ollie and Boris, the stepbrother who has picked up on a lot of their habits. So you get a little bit of both, best of both worlds with um, Boris because he is a little more independent, loves to play, loves to explore, but he has learned to be very affectionate through them. And you can tell my yard is a dog's yard. Huh. Ollie, where'd they get this hanger here? How'd they get a hold of that? Some unfortunate toy did not survive their playing. I see stuffing about. I could have swore I picked all the stuffing up yesterday. Um, my air. But this is our boys and this is Shelby. They all share the same kennel. They all get along. All three of them are very dog friendly. You can put them with anybody. And if you put them with a dog that could be dog aggressive, they're, they're submissive. They'll bow right down. You should never have any trouble with any of the three of these guys putting them with another dog. So, that should be it for now. Hopefully, you have seen... There you are, handsome fella. I just love these boys. Um... Hopefully I filmed it so that you could see it because I have trouble seeing the viewfinder. And, um, Ollie, Ollie, what are you doing? You are handsome. Look at you, big boy. And really, they're just wonderful boys in need of beating the black dog syndrome and making it into a home. Because they're doing okay with me. They're fostered with me. But it's not a home. I mean, it's a foster. And these guys are great, great dogs. You'd be thrilled with them. You're more than welcome to talk to the adopter of Otis, the first one that got adopted out. And she will rant and rave about Otis. And Ollie is exactly like him. And Boris is very similar. Um, so anyway... Please, if you have any questions, feel free to call me, 870-429-5547, and I'll be happy to help you out in any manner. Thank you again. Thank you for looking in shelters, and have a wonderful day.